So the topic of this is lymphosarcoma or lymphoid tumor, which is probably one of the most common tumors we get in veterinary in dogs. Mast cell tumor is the most common skin tumor, like palm or fatty tumor is the most common in older dogs, but lymph, lymph cancer is very common. Barney is one of our favorite patients. He's pretty old and the lymph nodes are absolutely massive. Because he's on chemotherapy, I won't video them, but maybe when we finish the chemo, we'll discuss them. The mandibular lymph nodes are bigger than tennis balls. The prescapular lymph nodes here are bigger than tennis balls and the popliteal ones are bigger than table tennis balls. They're very big. What we did is we just put a needle into the lymph node and you can actually see these large lymphoblastic cells. You know that it's a lymphosarcoma. Sometimes we send a biopsy sample to the lab. In fact, probably 99% of the time we send a biopsy sample before we start treating. But in this particular case, the fact that all six nodes are absolutely massive and it's really typical, we're gonna go ahead and treat. There's various chemotherapy protocols and there's cancer specialists that do an incredibly good job. But in a dog that's really old, that's got really advanced lymphoma, we're happy to treat in-house. This dog's getting a single treatment therapy, which is called doxorubicin. It's an orange colored product. We handle it very carefully. We all we really do is put up a saline drip and run it through over about two, three hours. And it's one of the products that gives a very good result without side effects compared to normal products. This particular drug is immunosuppressive. So before we give the next treatment, we will take um, bloods and just make sure the white cell count is high. But we can give up to six treatments three weeks apart and we can add other drugs onto it. So I may add prednisolone or something else after we've started. But for all of you adults, you don't necessarily have to have this complex, very expensive chemo. This is a very rational, reasonable thing that you can do. And your local vet can do it as well. And it's, it's, it's probably, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's optimum because it doesn't have the side effects and it gives a very good result compared to these really expensive chemo protocols that we do. I just thought I'd share with you one of my favorite patients and what we've decided to do. The owners let me, it's help, let me make them, help them make the decision. And we're treating Barney, so it's lymphosarcoma or, or, or um, cancer of the lymph nodes. And we're treating in-house and probably we're expecting, we're hoping to get about five months. So not a massive amount at this stage. What, what's in your hand now? So this is the chemo drugs. We use gloves when we wear them. We put them in the drip. We wear masks as well when we inject them. And uh, we've put a little needle into the lymph node. We've put a slide out and you can actually see this. The, the, lymph, the lymph cells are blast transformed and they're big. And they, being a vet who looks at slides all the time, they, it's absolutely beautiful like the, it's like a painting and the, the picture that it paints it's so aggressive and so malignant and so undifferentiated so it's pretty convincing what we've got and uh, i thought i'll just share that it's, it's a great case to share that we can treat cancers so this has been one of my favorite barney has been one of my favorite patients i guess simply because the owner passed away and I'm, the ongoing care had a really good rapport the owner and the ongoing care now with the family and um, it's always sad when you start getting towards the end. So you can see the orange fluid. Can you see the orange fluid going into the little veins? Hey, orange chemotherapy. So we've got a catheter in the vein and we're pushing these chemo into these little, we're trying to get an extra time in. I'm sitting, just taking a break, doing some of my screen time with Barney while he has his chemo, because it's nice not to be alone when you're having chemo. It's nice to have support. And, uh, How long does the chemo take, Phil? So this particular chemo, we, 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 we put in over approximately three hours. We put in over three <laughs> hours. And uh, he, goes on, he goes on at lunchtime. The side effects a little bit of nausea, so he's got some anti-nausea medication. So he's ready to go home. You're done with us, are you? Comes, so he comes in once, so he comes in twice every three weeks. One for blood tests and one for chemo, and we do that three times.